So next is 94 Anticot Street, Salvatore. Okay. Mo has filed an application with the Zoning Board of Appeals for zoning relief to change the allowed use of the first floor from a store to window takeout for ice cream. I didn't come as prepared as anybody else, but I have been paid this, but I got one of these which has been passed down. This is a layout of the place. Talk, but why don't you tell everybody what you plan on doing and, and you, you opened already and what happened? Well, we opened because they told me I could open and then when I found out things weren't right, we closed it right down yeah. because I didn't want no headaches. And I want to thank you for seeing me tonight and all my support here. Yeah. And uh, what we did was we sent out letters. That's uh, where I walked around with the mailman. We put them in the mailbox from my cars all the way up in the Cut Street and in Cooper Street. You have a copy of the letter, I, do. I believe. I went up to the, the, the board for the CV. They told me I did not need one, and they have a thing here. That, uh, they told me that given to give you, I did not need it because it's takeout only. Okay. Okay. They said any questions, you could call the number up there. Okay. And uh, like I says, I um, I want to open up an ice cream parlor. Uh, just takeout service only, Richardson's ice cream. And the fact, that the reason why I wanted to open it is because. Um, we have a lot of elderly people in the North End, okay? And I'm a North End my whole life. Family, for me, everybody knows doing SMOs. And uh, last year, matter of fact, me and Carmen were sitting on the stool in front of the Casa Mia. And there was somebody sitting there with us and said they wanted an ice cream. And we said, and I said to myself, you know, where are you gonna get an ice cream around here? All they have is gelato. Am I correct? So if you want an ice cream, well, half a Sunday, somebody will have to walk to Faneuil Hall, over to Charlestown Bridge, or get in your car and drive wherever. So I'd say to myself, oh, let's give a little back. I got this big store, and all I'm asking for is a takeout for, you know, ice cream. So, I mean, uh, it went up pretty good. Um, we get the signs up, we have everything up. We we'll open, like I said, so we got a big, you know, highly boo from everybody, but we closed down right away when we found out we didn't have the right license. And uh, I'm just hoping people will support us. Well, I took the time to walk by. And I saw that you've already got all your ice cream flavors out. And reminded me of my childhood with uh, Howard Johnson's with the 28 flavors. So how many flavors are you going to be? Well, we're going to put in, uh, right now I think we have roughly 32. 32? We got 32. 32 flavors? So but this is just ice cream makes eight. Yeah. So we're going to have all eight flavors. Yeah. Of course we do. What's the, I mean, are you allowing anybody into the building? No, nobody is allowed in the village. Completely take out service, and uh, I mean, there's no um, nobody is allowed in. I mean, you have a lot of people playing there. I mean, everything just the window service there. Our garbage is picked up daily. What are your hours operate? Uh, from eleven to nine. Daily. Daily, seven days a week. I don't feel after nine o'clock that we should have people in the neighborhood being bothered by somebody walking around, you know, asking for ice cream. Besides, uh, nine o'clock is sufficient. Any other renovations you're going to do there? Is it all done? It's all done. Okay. So you're just people going to come up from the sidewalk and just... That's it. <coughs> Ask for an ice cream, get your ice cream, mosey on. We want nobody sitting down, there's no chairs, no nothing. We want nobody hanging around, so that's why I want to take home. Yeah. And you've already got your signage right there that mm -hmm. says... The, it's it's, it's part of the building here. Yeah. It says Deacon Sweet does a Holly ice cream Oh no, we have, um, you see, Dippin' Sweet is, I have another company, and it's just, we just, I mean, the, the name is just, you know, appealing, and people see it, Dippin' Sweet, what they, we do is we freeze bananas, pineapple, strawberries, and we dip them in chocolate, and we do that on the feast, we have the big thing on the feast with the stands, and we travel all the little events and stuff, but, you know, the ice cream parlor, it's Dippin' Sweet, it's the banana split on the farm with a cone and a sundae, you know, we'll be selling the hot fresh sundaes, all different kind of toppings, we make our own toppings, and as far as, you know, like banana splits, and then we were even thinking about having something crazy, like, you know, the Mega Bucket. You know, guys like Ricky over here that come in there and eat 28 scoops of ice cream in 35 minutes, your name goes up the wall of fame, the wall of shame, you know, something that, you know, a little excitement, you know? What are they going to eat at? Excuse me? What are they going to eat at? Oh, 
Excuse me? Where are they going to eat that? Well, that deal would set up on a time and a date that somebody could either sit inside the place or would set up with just a little table out front there. So it's mean, just a 35 minute deal, not that, you know, there's going to be tables out front, nothing like that. Oh, so you are going to let people in? Sorry. No. Just for a special occasion. I mean, just for a special occasion, one person, you know, coming in 35 minutes can sit at my desk and if they can do it, it goes up on the thing. How many scoops is it? Well, we're, we're going with whatever we have on the menu. If there's 28 scoops or 38 scoops, that's how many scoops we in the bucket. 35 minutes. That's it, 35 minutes. <laughs> any other council members have any questions? Any concerns about any long lines that might? No, I'll tell you, you know, like I said, you know, we opened by mistake because they told us we could open it and we didn't. And it was that week that was like 80 degrees. And it wasn't like lines of people. You know, it was just like, you know, two people come up, get an ice cream stand, gone. Two more people came up, gone. So it wasn't lines of people. You know, so like I said, as far as parking or double parking and stuff, like, I mean, people double park all over the lot then. I mean, I got $1,000 of parking tickets, double parking. So I know more about double parking than anybody, you know? <coughs> So, I mean, as far as anybody, you know, lines and stuff like that, it's not a big concern. I hope it, it would become a big concern someday if got that busy, but I don't think. Are you serving anything else but ice cream? Ice cream and not dip stuff, that's it. You know, like a frozen banana. Any, any liquids? No. How many, how many people have had liquids? We have uh, two girls, so okay. Yeah. And we have two windows and girls in each one. How about the trash? Trash goes out every day. We have it picked up every day. Put anything on the sidewalk as far as like the trash from the I have a barrel outside my door for you know people you know napkins and stuff up there and girls are constantly sweeping. So we don't want no little uh, friends walking around or anything like that. So anything we want out in the airport. Do you have an appointment with the ZBA yet? Do you have an appointment with the zoning board yet? Yes, we uh, no we didn't get a letter yet, <coughs> but I got a you know my appeal. Do you don't have an appointment yet? No. They said they would send us a letter we haven't received. Okay. Any other council members, any questions? What, what about, um, you're on the zoning, the ZLC for Newer, right? You're on the agenda for the yes. zoning and licensing, correct? Yes. For the other association. Okay, open up the uh, public hearing. Any Anybody have any comments or questions? <coughs> just, a, just a question, maybe I missed it. What, what office told you that you didn't need the CD license? Uh, yeah. Licensing board. The licensing board. Yeah, licensing board. Because they said it was take out only. So there was nobody coming and sitting down and everything. They told me it was the same license as the gentleman who has the gelato place on the corner in Hanover and Cross. It's just the window service. He didn't need a license. Yeah, did you have a question? No, I said we're five. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to ask that next. Does anybody have any questions? or? Okay, is there uh, anybody here that's in support of this? Okay. You can't raise two hands. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Is there anybody that um, is opposed to this? Looks like you brought uh, your friends with you. Oh, okay. Thank you all. No, it's nice that you all came out because that's important. We want to hear from the people and see how you feel. Do you all live in the area? Yeah. Uh, He's our neighbor across the street. Okay. Right. Anybody's got a couple of Okay. <laughs> Ice cream. So we can buy more for that. So, anybody has no other questions? Motion to support the motion. Second. Okay, do we have a second? I second. Okay, so we have um, um, a motion on the floor to support the application with the zoning board deals for zoning relief to change the allowed use of the first floor from a store to a window service for takeout ice cream. All in favor? Unanimous support. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.